Shopify, and I'm here to explain how to set up a domain on Shopify. The first step is to find settings on the left side, then domains. Now all a domain is, is how people will find your site on the internet, what they'll have to type in. By default, it'll be your store's name, .myshopify.com. But to add a new one, just click add a domain. There are two ways to add a domain either register a new domain, or add one that you already own. If you don't already own a domain name, just type the one in you want below. Make sure you don't type in www. or .com. Just choose the ending from this drop-down on the list. They're generally about $9 a year, but some are more expensive than others. I should mention that $9 a year is actually a fairly good price, as we get a very good discount for the wholesale purchases we make. Once you've selected it, just click OK at the bottom right. That option isn't going to show up, however, until you've entered in your billing information. If you've entered in billing information once on your site, it will be recorded for this as well. So if you're already on any form of paid plan, you'll be able to just click OK and be done. If you already own a domain and just want to point it towards Shopify, then click Add a domain name I already own. There are two steps to moving a domain name you already own to Shopify. The first actually doesn't take place on Shopify. Whoever you own the domain through controls two records called the C name and the A record, but you can find all that information in Need Help with Domains. This will take you to a page that explains everything you might need to know about domains in Shopify. But for our purposes, just scroll to the bottom of the page and click Point a Domain You Already Own to your Shopify store. This will show you how to set up your CNAME alias and your A record. Just find your DNS settings and it'll list your www.subdomain beside a CNAME. It'll also list your root domain without the www. beside your A record. For that CNAME, just point it to yourstorename.myshopify.com replacing your store name with the subdomain you were assigned. For your A record, just point it towards our IP address, which is 204.93.213.45. Once that's done, just head back to the Shopify site. Again, this is going to be under Settings, and then Domains. Click Add a domain name I already own. Then just type in the domain you have. In this case, make sure you do type in the .com at the end and the www. in front. In fact, in this case, you actually want to add the domain name twice, once with the www. and once without. When you have multiple domains listed, you'll see this option at the top. It'll say what your primary domain is and how you can change it. Just click Change My Primary Domain, and you can choose from all of your domain names. Your primary domain is going to be the name that people see when they go to your Shopify site. Once that's done, you're all set.